Hey guys, Marco here, back once again from MyColorScreen.com, bringing you the latest and greatest Android home screen tutorials. Today I'll be featuring Newspaper by Danut. Do Danut. Danut? Sorry. And this amazing home screen is just, it's just full of surprises. As you can see, it's got this awesome newspaper effect, and well, there's these pictures that if you tap them, it opens up the corresponding app. For example, if I tap in the phone, it opens up the phone. If I bring up tab messages, brings up messages. Camera, gallery, let's bring up gallery. Oh, it's just amazing. And then, as you can see, it's like a newspaper. We're gonna swipe it and it's gonna be the other side that's being torn off, providing you with our weather, with our little weather icon at the bottom, as well as all of our web pages, as well as our Google Play Store. And if you open up our Google Play, like that. I've got our YouTube, got our YouTube right there as well as our web, our Google. And at the top here, it's got this awesome little app drawer that when tapped, brings up our app drawer. All right, I'll be explaining how to go from your Apex launcher all the way to this. I provided parts on the side here, so you can jump to which part you wanna go. Also visit droidscreens.com to see more information about the screen, as well as the author. It's quite a cool site, you might wanna check it out. Okay, let us begin with this awesome home screen. Okay, once you have installed your Apex Launcher, you want to tap in at the bottom and go to Apex Settings and go Home Screen Settings. And then I'll provide you with everything that you need in your Home Screen Settings right here. Don't have to go through each and individual one. And you'll also need to go to Dock Settings, hide the dock. Once that is done, you'll have your Home Screen Settings set up. Next will be the Multi-Picture Live Wallpaper. Okay, for the multi-picture live wallpaper, you want to hold down, go wallpapers, choose live wallpaper, multi-picture live wallpaper, and then go settings. Now you want to have your screen settings one and two. Obviously, if you don't have any, you tap add, and you'll tap in one and then two for the both screens. If you have done my previous video and you have five screens, Trouble is you're gonna to have to go into your app settings, look for multi-picture live wallpaper, and then go clear data in order to clear all these screens. Okay, once you have these two screen one settings, screen two settings set up, we are gonna tap in screen one and go picture source. You want your single picture, and then find and then find the one that Danut has provided for us, like that. And screen two, you'll do it for your web one that he has provided. Once that is done, transition type, I chose card just because of that, that cool sliding effect I found out was pretty neat. Then you just go simply go back and then go set wallpaper. Boom. Multi-picture live wallpaper done. Next, we'll be moving on to our icons. Okay, for our icons, if we there's two ways of doing this. There's the first way where we'll be holding down, go Apex Actions and go App Draw. That's for App Draw at the top and then drag it like that. And then you'll do it for each one of these. So say if you wanna add in messages, scrolls for messaging, and then we'll drag it like that. And then you add it to that side over there and there. And then if you wanna make it transparent, you go edit, tap that, select picture, quick pick, and now you want a blank PNG, like that. Now it has disappeared, so once you tap it, it'll bring up your messaging like that and then just put a few that cover the picture. The other way of doing it is by using Desktop Visualizer, where by holding down, you go Widgets, Desktop Visualizer, you can choose it one by one, and then all you do is just resize it over the picture. So for Gmail, it would be that. Tap that, choose your blank PNG, and your action would be just the app that you would like to launch. Like that, we go Clear, take off your touch effect, go OK. Simple as that. So when you tap that, it'll bring up your Gmail. Then for this side, you'll do exactly the same. Lastly, we have our fancy widgets icon over here. You have to install the unlocker and then just simply add it and change the icon to Voss carved skin and paste it in there. All right, and there we have our home screen for today. I hope you've enjoyed it, folks. Please visit mycolorscreen.com as well as Droid Screens for this screen. 
I'll be back tomorrow for another great amazing Android tutorial and as always leave a request if you'd like to see something and yeah cheers for now.